Welcome to the vlog. Today we're looking at why tobacco pipes are so interesting. But you know what? You know what? What a stupid intro. I'm gonna do that again. Interesting fact number one. By the way, I'm taking these facts from a website called Mile High Pipe and Tobacco. Maybe you should check them out. Maybe not. By the way, if you like videos about tobacco pipes or family and travel and adventure and you know, whatever this channel's about, I'm supposed to be telling you what the channel's about. Anyways, this is a great channel. You should subscribe to it. There's all kinds of things on here that you'll like. Smoking a pipe first began as part of religious ceremonies. Many American Indian rituals, the shamans, priests, and medicine men all used to smoke tobacco pipes. Did they all? Did somebody go around to every single one of them and ask them, do you smoke tobacco pipes? I doubt it. Number two. During the 16th century in England, it was thought that smoking pipe tobacco was extremely beneficial to one's health. I also feel that smoking a tobacco pipe or cigar is good and beneficial to your health. I actually have a video about that that I'll link in the description below. Oh yeah. In 1500 BC, North American Indians began using the pipe for other ceremonial purposes like reconciliation. Now, is it just in my head? Is it just in my mind? Did I want it to be this way? Is this just fake? Don't a lot of people think that Indians, Native American, whatever you, Indians, okay? I'm sorry, don't be, don't be offended. You're not Indians, just watch it, whatever. Didn't they smoke like weed and pot and whatever, like other things? It wasn't just tobacco, right? Was it just tobacco? If you know, put it in the comments, will you? Pipe smoking became more and more popular during the 30 years war in Europe during the years of 1618 through 1648. Holy cow, that's like, 30, that's like 30 years of war. Before this time, it was considered treasonous in many countries for anyone but aristocrat, aristocrats and royals to smoke. Oh, fancy. Tobacco became famous in Europe after Christopher Columbus discovered the Americas. Once he saw that Native American people were using it for, for medic, for medicinal, yep, yeah, that's another difficult word. For medicinal, for medi he took it back to Spain with him. The tobacco plant later reached Europe in 1519 by the way of some guy who was a monk who accompanied Columbus. Interesting. Uh, see, I told you, I'm, I think the air is blowing into my eyes and it's making this one water. I realize also I haven't been smoking my pipe because it's, it's, I can't do two things at once. Smoking a pipe requires a lot of attention. So if you do anything else, it's very difficult. Your pipe's just gonna go out. Mine went out. Pipes have been made out of several different types of materials. Iron pipes were popular in Norway for a time. Wow, iron pipes, wouldn't that get hot? While clay pipes were the most popular among the natives in the Americas. Later, Meerschaum, what? M-E-E-R. S-C-H-A-U-M. How do you pronounce that? And how can you put a comment in the description that allows me to read that better? You can, you can figure it out. Then in 1840, briar pipes became popular and still remain one of the most popular types of pipes, which I believe this is uh, made out of briar. It doesn't say, but okay. The term smoking, it's in quotation marks, so I'm doing that. The term smoking was coined in the 17th in the 17th, what? This is a poorly written article. Was coined in the 17th century, I guess. Before then, smoking was called dry drunkness or puffing. Ooh, I like that, puffing. We should make that a thing, us together collectively. Both of you watching this video and me, the three of us should go out and uh, bring this back into popular culture. That's what I say. Last one, get ready, buckle up. In the mid 16th century, many European countries thought that smoking pipe tobacco could cure syphilis. I don't know, what do you think? Was that that interesting about tobacco pipes? I mean, it was mildly interesting, right? I told you at the beginning, it might be interesting. If you enjoyed this video, there's many more like this on the channel, so you should subscribe, subscribe. And you should also thumbs the video up because that lets YouTube know that you like this video. And then YouTube's like, really? How many more of you like the video? And the more of you that like it, the, the better it. Anyways, you know how YouTube works. Comments also help, so if you would, comment anything you'd like. Something funny. Dang it, look. It's just dry tobacco in here. I gotta refill it. Anyways, thanks for watching. A long